Hi everyone, it's Brenda from Brenda's Knots and Loops coming to you from the yarn room. Yes, again, I made it to the yarn room. Oh my gosh, what a day. I am so thrilled. I want to thank uh, all the people that placed orders this week. You guys uh, made my uh, week. Um, it was so much fun um, filling orders, uh, mystery bags, and uh, that was that was fun. I can do that. Um, the orders that are on the back wall, unfortunately, I can't reach them. Um, that will be mailed out uh, uh, later uh, Thursday because um, my husband will have to pick it because mom can't reach him either. She's too short. And uh, and there's too many boxes in a way. So I'm going to try to make a path for my husband. Um, that's my goal today. Um, but I got a lot to share with you today. Um, oh, my gosh. I learned uh, yesterday how to make uh, your pattern uh, bigger. And uh, so I want to share that with you today. Uh, also, I have uh, some um, mystery bags, some um, fiber, some other stuff to show you I got, um, some whips. Oh, it's going to be a fantastic show. So let's get started. First recipe today is skillet beef pot pie. Oh my gosh, the picture, it looks awesome. Going to make it this weekend. It's with um, uh, Pillsbury dough biscuits on top for your um, for your um, uh, dough, and uh, it's made with hamburger, and it's just oh, just some one skillet. Yum, love one skillet, one pot meals. Um, that way you don't have a lot of dishes. You know, if you're like me, I can't stand very long. So um, haven't got very many um um. coupons in uh, in the email today uh 50 off up to 50 percent off on all yarns at lion brand no code and um love crafts with an s uh gone 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 their clearance uh they have new stuff in clearance and uh some of their um um some of their uh clearance is uh like the paint I don't know if you guys like a paint box, a yarn. It is like 35% off, and which is awesome. That's a great, good yarn. Very good yarn. Um, so anyway, I want to show you. I got, this is from Lion Bram. It's a kit. So they send you the yarn. And that's it in the bag. Don't tell you which kit it is because I bought three kits. So luckily, I know which one had Taboo. Let me show you a little bit about Taboo. Um, oh, it's a heavy yarn. It's heavy. For as little skein that it is, it's heavy. Um, taboo, it's 100% rayon with bamboo huh very very soft and silky very soft and silky what color is this by the way um 100 grams the number three weight 241 yards sheen worshipable and dryable mulberry this color is mulberry and this was for just happened to have I think I have it right here. Maybe not. Nope, I don't. This is the yarn I haven't got yet. For that pattern, can't wait to make that one. This is for... Yeah. Let's see what pattern this was for. Lion Brand. Thank you for telling me. You think it would be... Let's go to Lion Brown. Lion Brand. And I don't want to go substitute. I want to go Lion Brand. I went to Lion Brand substitute. Sorry. 
And let's go to my account. Do, 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 do. Talk among yourselves. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It was the one, the shirt. Now, oh, whoa. Well. Snickerdoodles. It was a shirt with a little lace on the bottom. Sorry. I'll show you later when I start working on it. Oh, was that soft. But I can't believe how heavy it is. Anyway, that's for that. All right, this will crack you up. Are you guys ready? For $20, I went to this, uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard it, Jim Bean Wool. Um, it has, um, you said they are kits, yes. The pattern was, uh, so you know, Kim, the pattern was emailed to me. And um, yeah, it was emailed to me. And unfortunately, um, it's in my delete box, probably. Um, but yeah, the email you, Lime Ren, emails you the pattern. So you have to download it, print it yourself. And then they send you the yarn. Thank you. Uh, weird. So anyway, I don't know if you ever heard of Jim Bean Beans Wool. Um, I did see a long, long time ago, um, uh, Crystal of Bega Day uh, ordered from them. Uh, a very long time ago, uh, I just remembered them, and they had a mystery bag uh, for twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. This is the mystery bag. <laughs> so let's see what's inside. Let's see what I got for my twenty dollars, my nineteen ninety nine. Cracked me up, right up there with. Oh, I got a receipt with uh, shipping and tax. It was $26.69. And it says, enjoy my mystery bag. This is my mystery bag. It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me what the yarn is. Mini, and it says mini and scraps grab bag, hand dyed wool yarn, yarn. This is kind of green, very soft, very soft. Hand dyed, they said. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at that hand dyed, I said. It's very soft wool. Um, it make um, like I said, this. I'm not gonna show you every one of them, but uh they be they're all the same kind, same size, uh, same size of uh yarn. Looks like what do you think? A two pushing the three, two looks like a two. Anyway, I think I think I'm gonna make green squares. What do you think? Cute little green squares with them. Green square pot holders. That'd be great for wool. So anyway, that's what I got for that mystery bag. So that's cool. Um ish. <laughs> So, and then, I haven't opened this uh, fiber. I don't know if you guys care about fiber. I like fiber. Um, I can't wait till my foot gets well so I can start spinning. This is was the mystery bag from a while back. Ooh. So what's in the silk bag? Something. Ooh, black. Do you know how hard it is to dye black wool? Very hard, they tell me. And then there's some curly goodies. Can 
wait to put that with my yarns, my fiber stash. Like, I can't wait. Cannot wait. Um, to um, um, spin. Oh, isn't that cute? It's supposed to be um, 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 a llama, I think. That's an orchid. Okay. Uh, stash. Fused green and white. Oh, green tea. <laughs> I'm like, what? Green tea. Cool. And then, oh, Beyond Soft. I need this because I want to wash uh, what I'm working on now. Anti-static conditioner, conditioning bath. Anti-itch softener fiber. These fiber are uh, soft and fresh. Fragrant free. Cool. Cool. I needed a watch because I was going to think about using Dawn, but I needed that. I need that. Anyway, let me show you my whips real quick. I'm going to get how to make make your puns. I'm going to get there. So <clears throat> let me show you. Stay boo boo. This is the I showed you, and if you guys want the link to this uh, this um, pattern, see it's got shells on the bottom. I'm coming along. I'm coming along. I'm um, to the part where just I have to make it just the length I want it. So um, it's supposed to be an extra large, but I think it's going to be close to a two or three x. Is what I think. Because um, this yarn. Stretchy. Um, which is the. Uh, color fuse yarn. Um, if you want this pattern. It is in. Um, Monday's. Yes Monday's uh, show. So go to that. Dis uh, description. And then you guys know. Um, the granny. Pullover by MJ's. Um, I've already made two. I'm making another one out of this. You know the tw the tweed I showed you of uh, the muffin tweed. I am making it. It was gray in the middle. Let me get my sleeves. Gray in the middle, and then it turned purple. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm making it to fit me. I just I just got done. Um, hooking the sleeves uh, to the sleeves so now I have to just make it to the length I want it and then I think about um, I'm just going to add cap cap sleeves I'm not going to make long sleeves maybe maybe quarter inch sleeves I always push see I got long sleeves on I always push them up always but this tweed which is a muffin but it's different than a muffin Muffins are real soft and really, but this muffin is, um, I brought the tag and I don't know what happened to the tag in my, it is made out of the tweed is, I got a lot of puke, which I call spaghetti. Um, they are, this one is a uh, silk merino wool and acrylic. So it's a little um, stiff. So I'm going to wash it. And it smells, it smells like oil. You know, like motor oil. So I think I'm going to uh, wash it, soak it, wash it, and block it. I've never, I've never blocked a sweater before. Because I don't block. I usually hang. But I don't think this one would um, look good. Oh, no. I might hang it on the upside down. That would be good. I could hang it upside down on my, um, you know, I've talked about that before. I'm going to tell you again. How I block things, I usually don't soak them. I spritz. This one I'm going to wash because I want it to get soft. Right now, it's not, it's not super soft. But it will, so I know it will soften in the wash, which um, was with merino wool. There's only 10%, so I don't have to worry about it felting. But you just don't. You just don't ring. You know what I mean? You just don't mess it around a lot. So, uh, 
So anyway, um, I'm going to uh, do hang it, uh, hang it uh, from a clothesline. Outside is my clothesline, but you can hang it, your clothesline anywhere. And then I take uh, clips. Um, you know those clips that men use to clip like wood together or stuff together? Those heavy duty clips. I use those to, or clothespins to clip, to hang it on. Then I put those heavy clips uh, to weight it on the bottom uh, to weight it down. And that works for me better than blocking it on a blocks. Because on the blocks, um, um, my pins don't, they don't stay. They, the, it won't, I have problems with the pins. The pins will not stay it won't stay tight. So anyway, those are my whips that I'm working on right now. And hold on. Yeah, I see your questions. I'll get to them as soon as let me get this these whips all the way. Um, how you the question was how do you uh, decrease sleeves for a V stitch? Uh, skip two, then shell stitch. I'm lost. All right. Um, under your arm, under the arm, is where you do. Uh, I would do you the decrease because you can't can't rest yet. So what you can do, um, let's see. Let me see. V stitch, skip two, and then uh, shell stitch. So the V stitch. Boy, that's a good question. V stitch, skip two, shell. I would, depend on how much you could, see it's under the arm, uh, you could skip, skip one instead of skipping two, or you could skip the V stitch and just skip two and do the shell. Because the shell would be more noticeable if you miss the V-stitch. You know what I mean? Personally, depend on how much you need to decrease, I would just skip one instead of skipping two. That's my personal opinion. So, that's, that's my personal opinion, what I would do, personally. So, um... So anyway, um, let's get on to how to decrease or add, or add to your pattern. Let me get a pattern. Okay, maybe I'll get a pattern. That one didn't. All right. What you do, you have to do. I'm sorry for those of you like me. Do not do um, the uh, the the gauge stitches. You have to do the gauge stitches. So you know, so you can get the four inches. So you know how many. You need to know how many inches you get for four, how many inches in rows you need you you need to um, to get four inches on your on their pattern with the yarn and the hook that you're using. Okay, so get a piece of paper and pencil. You need to write this down. I'm going to tell you the formula. Let me get a pencil or pen or something because. Okay, so now, now the guy, the guy, let me see if this says, all right, you're using this uh, pattern, you're using a five millimeter hook. I'm using a, a five uh, a five weight yarn, okay, and it says 
for a double four to three double crochets clusters and um, chain three space you get five stitches five stitches five stitches equals seven rows seven rows equals four inches all right so in all your, most patterns okay let's see this this pattern under guide it's right here it says double crochet let me see 14 double crochets seven rows equals four inches you need to know how when you make your uh swatch how many stitches you have across and down to make four inches okay and you need to change your hook um to get this to get this for this pattern if you want to make their sizes okay of uh, the pattern that they list okay you guys know that all right now let's say i want to make this pattern this sweater I want to make this sweater um, 40 inches wide. Okay? So, let me get a piece of paper. So, what you do, you take, I'm going to try to do this backward. You take 40 inches. I want to make it 40 inches wide. All right? Instead of, they, they tell you, usually on the sizes i'm going to show you the sizes they tell you what size in you know to make but what if i i don't want that size maybe because there's 39 and there's 43 maybe i need a 40 across my sweater you can also do this for blankets everything anything okay so i want it 40 wide so you uh, take that, divide that, divide that by four, because it's four inches. Okay, four inches. I know I'm doing it backwards. All right, four inches. Okay, that equals ten. All right. So now we take that ten, we times it. Because uh, it took it, um, it takes. Uh, let's say this pattern takes twelve single crochets in an inch to go across. All right. So, so you take the ten you got from here times the twelve stitches it took in the row. Okay, that's a hundred and twenty. So I need. 120 single crochet stitches to get my 40 inches. Okay, you guys got that? So let me go through that again. <clears throat> this, let's use, so this pattern, which I don't know why I did it with the first page. Here it is. For example, this pattern, let's do this pattern. This pattern is um, double 14 double crochets, all right, equals uh, seven rows, seven rows, equals four inches, all right? So, I want to make it 40 wide, my sweater. I want to make it 40 inches wide. So, you get your calculator out. Let me get my calculator. So what you do, you take the 40, uh, divide it by, let me get my notes out, divide it by four, because it's four inches, okay? Four inches, so you have 10. Then you take that, the 10, did you get that? 40 inches wide, you divide that by the four inches because you the swatch is four inches by four inches, okay? You divide that and you get 10, okay? 
Now you take the 10 or the number you get, you take that and you times that by the number of stitches. So this pattern, the stitches was 14 double crochets. So you times by 14, which is 140. So I need 140 double crochets to make 40 inches wide. Now, what if I want to do it longer? You know, how many rows do I need to make it? Let's say, what do you think? Let's make it um, 26 inches long. So 26 inches long. So what you do, you take that 26 inches long. You divide it by the four. So let me get my calculator. So 26 divided by four. You guys probably already know the answer is six point and a half. Well, you can't do a half. So you have to make it, it. Okay, let's do one more one more stitch, and that will give me seven seven stitches. All right. You take that seven. You times that. Now you take the seven, and you times it by um, by the stitch. All right. How many stitches? This was 14 double crochets. So now I times that. Let me clear my thing. So I times that. It's seven times. And it was how many? 14 times 14 stitches. So, to, so I know I need 98 rows to make 26 inches. All right. So the formula is. For width, for the width, width, how wide, you do how wide you want it, divided by the four inches of this, which is swatches are usually, they usually are four inches. Occasionally, I have seen it say six, but usually, see, it says four inches, four inches, all right, by the swatch. All right, then you take that number and times it by how many stitches? And you get how many stitches you need wide, all right? Length, how long it is. I told you wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, if you want it, it you go by how long you want it, all right, divided by the four inches of this swatch, okay, four inches, and then you take that number, you times it by the rows. I was, I told you stitches earlier, I meant rows. So you times it by, like this one is seven. So you times it by seven, and then you get how many rows you need. Okay. Like if I wanted 60 inches long. I would time, I would divide it by 4. I would get 15. I take that 15. Times it by. it. The, the guide said 14 rows. And that equals uh, 210 rows. Do you guys understand, or am I not making this clear? Please let me know in the in the chat if I if I, you guys are getting it. Um, so, width is stitches, length is rows. Okay, same basic formula, but the only thing you do is times by the difference. Width you times by stitches the uh, across. In the guide and the row, um, and this will also work if you um, are using different size thickness of yarn. Um, when you do the swatch, 
you would measure how many stitches you get in four inches. Okay, then you can um, use this formula to readjust to uh, what size you need. Okay, hopefully you understand that you got that. Um, so um, I learned that yesterday. I watched um, six different videos. Uh, some were, oh my gosh, so confusing uh, that it was like, um, so anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Um, other ways to uh, adjust your, the size, of course, change the size of book you're using. Um, change your si the size of of course, the thickness and thinness of the yarn is going to change the size of the garment. So you have to keep that. Uh, Why you do a swatch, everyone, um, their tension is different. And especially your tension is different um, every time you crochet. It's not every time it's the same. Sometimes you're looser than others. That's why they say, especially when you make sleeves, um, you need to make both sleeves at the same time because that way your tension is the same. Because, and that's true, because I have made a sleeve, then a couple days later I made another sleeve, totally different sizes. Oh my gosh. So I had to go back and make another sleeve. So then I had three sleeves. Um, that is true. So anyway, um, And you also, uh, with this method, you also, if you uh, want to, if you're making a blanket, sweater, whatever you're making, and you want to change the stitch, um, instead of a single crochet to a double crochet, of course, you're, you you got to make your swatch, because your swatch, four inches would be different, how many stitches you have across, and that this formula would also work to, um, to determine how many stitches you need to, um, in that row for like if I want to change my single crochet to um, half double crochet, you know, it's a little wider. So I do a swatch of half double crochets four inches to see how many um, I have in a four inches with that hook. And instead of uh, struggling and changing hook size, you can just um, do this formula and see how many row, how many stitches you need to go across. All right, hopefully you guys understand that and got that. If not, there's a bunch. I shouldn't say a bunch. There's a handful of videos you can go and watch about it. And But like I said, some of them were quite, quite confusing. Um, and they even said, uh, to change the size of your garment, block it. Really. Um, so anyway, um, so anyway, I hope, I hope that helps you guys. And, um, unfortunately you have to do a, a swatch. Um, so you know how many, um, rows and how wide. And just don't do a chain. Sorry. The chain just doesn't work. Because I do. I cheated and just do the chain. The chain doesn't work. Because chains go. Ooh. So you got to do uh, at least a couple rows of the stitch you're using. Or what they ask for to get. Uh, I don't have which I'm going to get one. So I can show it to you. That has like a notch. Um, um, an L-shaped notch or a square hole in it I thought I, I thought I had I thought I had a picture of one no I thought there was one in that um just fall down okay they're called uh stitch guides guides guards stitches 
would help if I spelled stitch right. And they're everywhere on sale. Oh, gosh. Is it once go quilt? Um, let me go to images. And you have to put um, knit, knit or um, crochet. It's not showing me it. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. There they are. But you can just you can can just get a ruler and measure. Well, isn't that funny? I guess I'll show you this expensive one. See how it has holes? This is all out, so it it counts. This was not a very good one, but this will it shows you how many it will count. The ones I'm talking about will count how many how many row row how many stitches you had, you know, in that inch, in the four inches. Because uh, some people, a lot of people, uh, I um have a, a crochet um, knit especially knit longer than four inches so you don't have that funny thing on the uh, your starting uh, knot or whatever you do you know do six stitches instead of just four and then you measure you know the four inches so you get an accurate number okay so after all that, you can figure out how many balls of yarn you need. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, I have that. Okay, make it your do 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 Hold on. Yes. I oh I had that. Hold on. Let me look at my notes. Let me look at my notes. Let me look at my notes. How much yarn you need? All right. You do. All right, let's say I want to, you take the, um, how much yarn you need? You take, okay, 48, you take 48 by 60, and it's 286, that's the size, okay, you take the, 24 times 60 is 864. Hold on. I gotta read my notes. All right, this is how you figure out the yarn. I remember. What you have to do is figure how many stitches are in the multiple in the in the repeat. So in this pattern, and this magazine's on my last nerve. All right, let me see where it says repeat, repeat, repeat. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just pick a thing. Pick, pick. Pick a row. All right. All right, this pattern. Okay, if the pat okay, the pattern says row two, twenty a total of twenty um uh chain 
the the pattern says chain eight, 80, all right? Then row two is um, you do the row. And at the end of the row, it says you have a total of 29, 29 stitches, okay? You guys have seen that, right? At the end of the pattern, the end of the pattern, it tells you how many stitches you should have for that size, right? All right. Row three. This is what I'm going to tell you. Row three, um, you count the stitches. So row three said chain one, skip two, and then five double crochets in the next stitch. All right, a shell. So what you do, you do, so that's the multiples because you have to repeat, you know, you know, like, like my sweater. It's a shell and what are V. So what you do, you do chain uh, chain one. That's one stitch. Skip two. That's two stitches. And then um, five double crochets in one stitch. So that's another stitch. All right. Then you skip two. Then you skip two. And then you single crochet. So skip two is no, another two stitches and then a single crochet. So you count those and get how many you, you have, okay? All right. Now, now you times that number by, by five. Don't ask me by five. The lady said five. It works. It's a calculation thing. So you times it by five, always by five, to get your number. So let's say we had six. You times it by five, you get 30. Plus the, the, the extra two, the extra two, so you have 32. Because if, say, your pattern says, the pattern says at the beginning, to, like, it blankets, it says a multiple of six, plus two. So you know the repeat is, so like your blanket, you do it, it's six, you do six and six and six and six and six, and then you get the length you want, and then you add two for, you know, to go back. So you do six times five, then you times the two extra change. You get 32. You understand? Am I confusing you? At the beginning, especially, this one doesn't say it, but at the beginning of your page, it would say, a lot of blankets say that, a multiple six, a multiple of six plus two. So you don't have to do the multiples like I just told you in the pattern. So you do six times five, it's always five, and then you add the two. You get 32. All right. Then you do the six times, how'd she get the 10? I don't know. I'll get back to it to you. I don't know how she got the 10. I'll just get back with you because I don't remember. I didn't take very good notes because I got 48 times 60. You figure out how many yards, how many stitches. I do the stitches. Stitches across by stitches down, um, and you divide that, and you get, um, and then that is how many balls you need. But the formula to get your stitches is basically the same as what I just told you. So, so if you had a blanket. Let's say the blanket was 48 by 60. That gives, um, that's 288 stitches. You divide that. And you divide that, okay, you, I have 288 stitches wide 
and then I have 864 stitches down. I divide the I divide the big number into the little number. Yes, that's and you I got three three point thirty four. So basically, I would need a little over four four uh, four balls, or well four yards four balls. I will have to, I'm I will I think that I think that's right. So let me get back with you to make sure that I am right on that. But yes, you divide the stitches cross uh, down by the stitches because the down's always bigger than cross, hopefully. And you get how many how many you how many you need, how much yardage you need. How many balls you need? Yeah. Okay. How many balls you need? But I will double check that and get to you and be more um, more details on Friday. Let me write a note. Yarn. Much yarn. Because I want to know, I want to know yardage. How much yardage? Because I usually look, because it tells you this says uh, extra large is uh, 1,850 yards. So I want to know if I change my size, how many yards that is instead of stitches across and stitches down. I will find that out for you. I made a note. I will find that out for you. Now I got my pattern all messed up. That's fine. Um, I will tell you Friday about Friday, a couple of things, um, notes, um, I, fo fo uh, show and tell Friday, uh, hooks on the loop is, uh, on Friday. So get your, uh, your pictures and your info, which I need not only your name, your um, if you don't want your full name, that's fine. Just let me know. Just use your first name. Um, the pattern, hopefully it will be nice if you told me what yarn you used, um, a, a picture and get it to me by Thursday by noon. All right. Because I will be working on that Thursday because what I'm going to do, because my lovely doctor changed my appointment again. So, uh, my appointment's at 7.50. I hope to be, I should be, home by 10. I should be. I'm going to have everything set up and ready to go. So, all I have to do is log on and say hello. So, what I'm going to do is put everybody's picture on the community page on Thursday. Um, afternoon and evening. I'm going to work on that. So everyone uh, page will be on their Thursday on the community page. Um, all your pictures and information and stuff. Then I also will share and show everything on Friday. Um, you know, just to you know, get your out there. Uh, if you also, if you have a link, if you have a, um, a YouTube channel, uh, Etsy shop, a website or whatever, um let me uh also you can add that i'll be glad to add that to the community channel and let people know to uh, help advertise you um and give you a little shout out there um i need your inf i need your stuff by third by tomorrow at noon please if you want to be on be listed and, and show your lovely items doesn't have to be a finished item i i will take whips this is what I'm working on. You know, that that's lovely too. I'd be glad to show your whips um, because um, whips are lovely to see too. So, because um, I know like Christy's working on a Sophie blanket. Um, I know she's not done with it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to show you. So, um, 
so uh, and that's a whip so i'll be glad and i hope she didn't mind that i mentioned her but uh so i just send me your whips too and your which is um works in progress and also your foes is also finish objects finish stuff um and then um like i said my doctor's appointment was changed to the morning so my husband said okay no breakfast we'll run home which is fine maybe we can do lunch okay that um what else was i going to oh busy information day don't you think um but i will uh, as soon as i get off here i'm going to find how much yarn yardage i need if i change if i change the how wide and how long i something i'm going to find, figure that out i will let you know um yeah i will make sure i know i wrote it down but i don't understand what i wrote down i didn't do details sorry so um yes yeah, send me your pictures i wanted to mention that i did the recipe um Let's see if we got any more. No, no more. Beach um, cracks me up. There are uh, some of the. Oh, um, Joanne's is having red, white, and blue. It's not July yet, but okay. You have to work on your July 4th stuff you have in craft shows. Um, they do have a um, $1.99 shipping. Code is MayShip199. Uh, shipping code for online. I wanted to share that with you in case you guys don't get their, uh, their codes. So that's MayShip199. To get a dollar ninety nine shipping for, and uh, I don't know if they got yarn on sale or not. They're not advertising if they do. So anyway, so what's everybody up to? Anybody got any questions? Because I know I gave you a lot of stuff today. A lot. Oh, my cup's leaking. I got coffee. I got tea brain. So, I know. So, hopefully you guys understand what I said, what I uh, was talking about. Brenda. Brenda, oh, thank you, PJ. Yes, that's my Etsy shop. Um, yeah, once the new name, if uh Su suzanne um new name if the regal um email me the new name for that pattern if you would suzanne is hooked for ivy's um and i'll um, be glad to you know i'll change the name because i haven't done anything but please just email me if you guys uh, e uh have already emailed me your stuff and you want to change uh, the information or whatever, please just email me and let me know. I'll be glad to uh, uh, do that because not nothing is set in uh, in um, in wool. I mean wool in stone in wool. I'm nuts. What's a uh, Michigan crochet in Kansas? Did I? Oh, Michigan Crochet. Oh, give you a shout out. Michigan Crochet in Kansas.
Give her a shout out. Do you have a... I'm sure you do. I'm so glad to hear that... Abby, yeah, I'm so glad to hear that she's... Uh, she's... Uh, that uh, Ivy's doing better. What I've done, not foolproof, is make the swatch, weigh it, times that by how many need, give it, give it, take lots of yarn included weight so when I know how many skeins to get. Oh, that's a good idea. Let me write that down. I need to get my brown, my book out. Let me write that down. So you do, okay. A swatch. You know how much I hate making swatches. Do you do the 4x4 four four swatch? Cassidy, do you do the 4x4 four four swatch like they tell you to do? Okay. Weigh it. Times it. By how many... How many, how many needed? I like that. I like that. I wrote that down. I'm glad to be back in the yarn room myself. What time are you going to live on Friday? Um, I plan on being on time on uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. I might, um, or I, I'm trying, you know, I always start. 10 to 15 till I'm going to try um, to be here on time. Um, the jibber jabbers, uh, the chat might not be at 930. Like I usually do start the chat at 930. That might not be on time at 930, but I'm going to try and be here as soon as I can. Hello, Ivy. Ivy, please let me know when you uh, post your new pattern. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous sweater. I want that pattern. So, Ivy, I'm so glad you're feeling better. Uh, please let me know when you post um, your new pattern, your sweater. It is, you guys, it's to die for. Can't wait to see it. I have... Uh, um, when the girls is a tester and she sh uh, shared a picture of it and I will be advertising it for, for her and also for I, Ivy, be create crates. Um, Suzanne is hooked. Yes, she is awesome too. I will be here hopefully on time, but I will be here promise make sure you uh, subscribe and click on the little bell so you will get um, a uh, a notification of uh, when I when I'm here 
So, oh, that's my grocery list. Don't need that. Okay, Suzanne. Do, 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 do. It's not Regal. It is. Let me. It is Sparkles. S P Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Sparkles. Sprinkles. Summer tea. Got that written down. It's in Ravelry. Oh, it's already there. I will have to go to Ravelry. Ravelry. A V E R L Y. Ravelry. I will go there because I want that pattern. All right, Mary Maximum. Five percent off when you order thirty dollars or more. It's five dollars, so it's a uh, five off thirty. Have you guys seen the new Christmas cat? I'll have to show it to you. I do not do cats, but it is the cutest thing. Oh, isn't that the cutest thing? I don't even do cats. I'm a dog person. So, anyway, hope you could, that is the cutest thing. That's on Mary Maximum. So, thank you. Thank you, Ivy. Uh, it's, it's Brenda's. You know, if you want to email me, my email is Brenda's at knotsandloops at gmail.com. Brenda's. Brenda Goodness Knots N with the letter N loops at gmail.com. So if you guys want to email me, your information is also in the and it's always in the description box below. Um let's see. Um Coming up um, next week, I have Timu, Tim, Timu, 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 Timu coming. I have a lot of it coming. A lot of uh, hooks I want to show and uh, um, not too much yarn. Um, I have yarn from Ice Yarn coming. Can't wait for it to come because, oh my gosh, what I got is gorgeous. I got a lot of it coming in... Um, some premiere. I got the the new yarn that they they have. I want to show you it because I want to check it out myself. Um, it's the big ball of the yarn that they have at um, the Dollar Tree, but it's a big yard for six dollars. It's supposed to be big, so I want to uh, check that out. Hi, Sherry. Welcome to the show. Hello, everyone. Everyone that's here, uh, that's on the chat, and also so the ones that are lurking, um, and the ones that are watching later, welcome to my show. Uh, I know I'm an hour in, and I'm sorry that the show is long, but I had a lot to tell you and a lot to share, share with you this week, this week, th today. So um, hopefully you got what I, um, um, how to resize, how to get that. Um, and then, um, let's see. Um, There's something else I want to share. Just one one minute. If you go, if um, oh, etchy ear. Um, if you go to uh, the at sign, 
uh, Brenda's Nuts and Loops, you will see, uh, I wanted to show you, you will see everything, my my Etsy, my in, my um, Instagram, my YouTube channel, everything that wherever I'm at, you will see it. My Pinterest, um, you will see everything where I'm at. So, um, I'm not really on YouTube. So, um, I'm not YouTube, uh, Twitter. I'm not on Twitter very much. I know I'm on YouTube. Sorry. Twitter. I'm not on Twitter very much. Um, I don't know why. I just don't tweet. Um, I don't know uh, why I don't, but I, um, but I don't. I don't uh, chat much on Facebook either. I kind of lost. Um, I don't know. It's just not the same. Okay, you, you to cut it out. Laugh out loud. You're funny. Funny. Um, Ivy, I didn't get your. I didn't get your gift. I'm sorry. I know. I don't. I don't know where you sent. Uh, wherever you sent it, I didn't. I didn't, unless. Well, hold on. Nope, I didn't get it. Sorry. So. This is an Ivy Pound wheel. What are you looking up? Yes, and I will be showing you a picture of it uh, Friday. All right. So, anyway, um, I did check my uh, my folder, my scam folder. I looked in my portent ones. I looked at. Um, Nope. Sorry. It's not my scam folder either, Jean. Jan. I did a check my scam spam folder. It's not there. So. Sorry. So anyway, anyway, I gotta get off here because a uh, little man, uh, my dog, has to go potty. I hear him drinking up uh, the bowl. So, anyway, I will see you Friday with uh, a bunch of foes, a bunch of, uh, hopefully, yarn, and um, let's see, what else? Oh, matter of fact, we have yarn right now. Just came down the steps. Um, so, I will be sharing whatever this mom just uh, threw down the steps on, fri on Friday. Uh, so, anyway, I will see you uh, Friday, um, hopefully at 10 o'clock, if not really as soon as I get here, okay? So, you guys have a great day. I love you for bunches. Make sure you give me your pictures at Brenda's Knots and Loops at gmail.com. It's down below if you guys need to find it. So, love you guys. See you later. God bless. Bye-bye now. Oh, Tamu! Yay! Ooh, it feels like some good stuff. Oh, wow. Can't wait to share that. All right. That will be Fridays. Oh. Sorry, you guys. It won't end. <laughs>